Red Tails. Meet the Red Rocket. Red Rocket in the house. Exciting news for this unboxing video. So I got my Red Rocket, just got it off the FedEx truck. And I'm just going to open it, so I might as well open it. So if you haven't seen the movie, go see it. Take your kids. Digital cinema, true, 4K, real time, black, true 4K cinema, let's see what it looks like, also ZBrush, ZBrush free upgrade, Red Rocket. Okay. Red Rocket. So you have a DVI cable. A very heavy DVI cable. Wow. This feels different. So y'all know I got my power supply and the red mag, the red station for the uh, SSD drive. So if you if you noticing what this thing is, this is the um the red cannot find page. Uh, they have a red spider, mechanical spider. It looks like a you know camera kind of thing. And it has a red ball, so I decided to model that. That's going to be one of my first projects. So I got two of these. I guess this is a different one. This is a, is a DVI-1 cable and a DVI. So you get two DVI cables. Very heavy quality. Very good. So... Here's a red rocket. I should touch something. Walking barefoot and stuff. Warning, avoid electrical static. So I just did touch something. And this red rocket card, minimum, minimum firm, firmware. Here. So very heavy duty. It's heavy. It feels kind of heavy for a card. So yeah, you put this in the computer. Nobody see it. It's not a check. Not a, a a gold chain. It's not a necklace, and nothing like that. It should have a, a static wrist static. Let's get to touch a power pack or something like that. I think I'm gonna go ahead. I think all the, all the things are here. I'm go ahead. I touch a few things. Static. No static. The hell, the hell, the hell. <laughs> no static. Don't start nothing. Won't be nothing. So. I'm going to go ahead and install it. And I'll probably talk to you guys a bit later after it's in. So again, ZBrush 2.0 is out. Uh, ZBrush, I'm sorry, ZBrush 4 R2B or something. Something like that. So, yes, it is red. Nice fan, nice heat sink. Do not push here. So... 
And so that's for the DVI. It's totally red, red rocket. Red rocket. We fight, we fight, we fight. <laughs> Just saw something to think that George Lucas said. I like things that go really fast. Anyway, I'm going to get some rest. So, yeah, I was working on that, and I got stuck at, at a little corner. And it's like, you know, it's kind of thing where you're like, oh, I wanted, I wanted this, this little corner. And you don't have to make it perfect. There's no reason. But you're like, you know, clicking with something for two, three hours, you know. It's ridiculous. So, I'm doing some cage modeling. I want to thank Reg, um, Reg for uh, hooking that up. Uh, he, he posted, he was doing some work. I was actually vacation and resting because the last job I did, I did for, um, uh, David and we, uh, I helped David set up the files for an animation, which I haven't seen a finished product, but I set them up in After Effects and, but I was working over the, uh, Christmas vacation, working really hard, did a lot of work. And so, uh, we got that rocking and chuku, chuku, chuku. Rocket. So, I so with the money, I took and went ahead and bought the rocket. And this is my reasoning. Everybody told me not to get a rocket. And they said we don't need it. We, you know, I don't use it as much. I don't shoot as much. But the transcoder the rocket is to help transcode. And so, um, it's, it plays the video at 4K. So there's no way if you could have a camera to Scarlet. Uh, there's no way that you can play the video um, at 4K in real time. So that's what the rocket is for. And um, and so once that's in, I'll be able to actually see 4K. Uh, the only problem is there's no real monitors. Like I have these, and I, I have two of them. I can run two monitors off of this, off of the 12 core. I can run three, actually, and I have run three. It's like pretty well. <laughs> And um, the thing about it is that uh, you know there's no they're not really getting into the 4K. Uh, and I did another video of this, so I will spare you. Uh, but there's no real way to uh, to see 4K video and or real true cinema unless it's in a cinema. Actually, they have those projectors. I guess if you're, it would make sense if I had a theater. And so I do want a theater. Uh, I want, that was one of the uh, reasons why I wanted a building because I did want um, a theater. Other than that, I couldn't see, you know, a small, you know, seating theater. I know a lot of rich people have that. <laughs> a lot of the people are stealing my ideas and hacking my computer. <laughs> anyway, I've been up all night. And uh, like I said, I was mentioning Ridge. I was working on this. Um... And I got uh, stuck on a little insignificant part. But I got most of it done. So I'm going to just go ahead and quit tinkering with it and push forward. It's a good exercise in poly modeling. And um, I've done I've done uh, a lot of modeling. But uh, I haven't focused on uh, specifically poly modeling uh, as it relates to hard body surfaces. Because I really don't like it. I'm used to control... So, but it's okay now. I can see the advantage of being able to work very freely with uh, shapes and very quickly. Uh, whereas I'm used to control curves and stuff like that. And so I guess that's why I'm being so tedious. I'm just used to doing it. But uh, I'm going to fork it over and try to do a lot more modeling. I'm supposed to be doing that anyway. So this strengthened me uh, for my film. So I'm, I'm supposed to be doing this and I... I just didn't bother with it, but now after messing with this, I uh, feel a lot more confident. I, I feel I feel like I got my feet wet. I shouldn't say confident because I can always model out something. Um, it's just that now I know exactly how I want to go after it. So that was good. So appreciate that, Ridge. I was on vacation, and like I said, I was tired from working over a weekend, so I was just taking time off, and I'm really still taking time off again because of the passing of my brother, my uh, uh, eldest brother. He's my half-brother, my step-brother, uh, my father's side, and, you know, but I always looked at him as a brother. 
uh, even though we didn't live together in the same household a lot, you know, he, he moved in once or twice when he got older, but so, uh, he passed and I'm very sorry to see him go. And, uh, his wife also died, uh, earlier. Anyway, so I'm, I'm going off OT, totally OT. So I'm going to install the red rocket. Now, I don't have a camera yet, the Scarlet. Uh, so I am going to download some footage from uh, the red, red net, red user or something like that. And uh, I'll just download some footage and just look at it. And just to see real-time video, I've already tested it. I already tested watching real time video on the 12 core and it'll play like a just like a second or two, you know, just for the fact out of memory, you know. But um, uh, also the transcoding, and this is one thing I wanted to say is that the transcoding, so let's say you get 4K video, a video is raw footage uh, that's read raw, it's called the RD3 files, and then you need to convert the files to something else. Well, that's called transcoding, and that transcoding can take a long time to file, uh, to save those files, or to turn it from one format to another. The Red Rocket helps that, does it almost instantly. And so, so my purchasing decision, and even though I had other film directors who have done films or are working in that industry, David has done films. David did uh, film logo animation over. 15 years ago, uh, I mean, 4K film, and, um, and I'm just getting to it, I just did my first one in November, so, uh, you know, so, um, keeps me humble, <laughs> you know, I, you know, I never, you know, so anyway, uh, like I said, I'm just getting to a lot of stuff, but, uh, I'm very tired. And like I said, my reasoning for uh, getting this is because a lot of the people who, who and I, again, I, I, they're directors, they've done this stuff, they've done with some main actors. Uh, one of my friends worked with Kelly Hugh. Uh, um, he's really great. And uh, he's done some other stuff. And uh, he's employed me once or twice. I was getting started, so. Uh, but, um. He, uh, he, uh, he also recommended that I not get it. Or he said that, no, he didn't say I'd not get it. He just said he doesn't use his, uh, and he just got, uh, Epic. And so, um, so the thing about that is that, uh, you know, I figure if you have to transcode it, you're not going to use it that much. But if you can transcode it, you'll use it a lot. So, uh, and I don't like sitting around waiting for the stuff to transcode. Uh, so this is uh, a big help. So, uh, that's why I bought it. Cause I figure it will help me. You know, I'm going to be using the camera for the rest of, uh, you know, my life, hopefully. And, uh, or better ones, you know. And, um, uh, and again, this is a entry, it's, you know, so this is an entry level camera. So it's. It's fifteen thousand dollars. It was fourteen. It went up to so it's almost close to sixteen thousand dollars. I wound up spending that much anyway for the camera, and um, card is about four, a little, a little less than five thousand dollars. So that's about twenty grand uh, I spent recently, and so um, so that's that. Uh, uh, the the higher end, the ones that P Peter Jackson, the Epic, is is actually um, that camera is like thirty twenty five thousand to start, and then with the accessories equipment, it rounds. I think it's like a little bit. No, it might be thirty five thousand. I don't know. And then when you round it out, it's um it comes to um, uh, fifty eight thousand for the whole system. So that's pretty expensive. So uh, with this being under uh, uh, around fifteen grand, uh, they still consider it to be just a hobbyist camera, <laughs> but it's more than that. Um, uh, so and and uh, and I have the accessories. I just uh, I gotta get. I want to get one, at least one better lens, and um, 
But uh, again, I, I'll be using it. I, you know, and it's I'll talk more about it. I just holding conversations about this a lot more. Okay, that's 15 minutes. That's worth it. Talk to you. God bless.